Welcome to the Copy Start TFT PLAB. As surprising as it may sound, thousands and thousands of companies all over the world do not keep a backup of the startup config on their routers. If there's a problem with the router and the startup config is lost from it, it can cost a business thousands and thousands of dollars or pounds. In this lab, you're going to learn how to keep a copy of the startup config of the router locally on the network in case of an emergency. For this lab we have a router connected with an ethernet connection to a TFTP server. We explain how to do all of that in the iOS upgrade lab. So we're going to boot up our TFTP server this server is going to host our startup config from this router. We're going to make sure we can actually connect to the TFTP server. We ping from the router address 10.0.0.2 and we ping in the .1 address for the TFTP server and the pings failed. We happen to be running our TFTP server on the next P machine and by default the firewall is on So let's turn off the firewall. Now please ensure when you're turning off your firewall on a home PC, you turn off your internet connection. So the ping is working now and we're issuing the copy start TFTP colon command. We'll press enter. We specify the IP address of the remote host and we always leave that router-confg as the default. Never change that. Press enter and you can see the config is copied over just fine. And if we look in our TFTP route, we see we have a backup. And just to reiterate, if we need to do a recovery, the router will only look for a file called router-confg. So never change that file name. 